Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and another batch of WWE 2K17 news has fallen the final week of roster reveals which took place this past Tuesday. A lot of fans were left disappointed that wouldn't be seeing alternate versions of certain superstars in this year's game. Now by that I mean the likes of the American Badass Undertaker, younger Ric Flair from WCW, Attitude Era Triple H and so on. However, it's now been revealed that that may not be the case and we will be seeing some alternate versions of superstars included in 2K17. The news comes from the WWE 2K dev account which tweeted out the following at the conclusion of this week's roster reveal. Suplex City may be complete, but stay tuned, we're going to show some of the alt versions of our superstars that weren't announced. So according to this tweet, it looks as though we will still be seeing a lot of the alternate attires that were seen in WWE 2K16, so while the present will only have Razor Ramon and Diesel, it looks like we'll also see their all our egos in Scott Hall and Kevin Nash, alongside a lot of the other alternates from 2K16. Now, I know a lot of people will complain about this and say, why wasn't the space used for other superstars? But to me, I really don't understand that point, as games like GTA have shown, size doesn't really matter anymore, especially with all the downloadable updates, the only thing actually stopping different superstars being included is 2K actually not having the time to do it. So personally, to me, 2K adding in all these alternatives isn't a cheap way of boosting the roster, instead it's a great way of giving us extra versions to use, instead of just letting them go to waste and not including them. So I'm glad that they've done this, otherwise it means if we want to create things like Triple H from the Attitude Era, then we're going to be stuck with the short-haired version and we wouldn't actually be able to do that. Speaking of the roster reveal in Suplex City, for anyone that's checked the interactive version on the 2K website, you'll notice that the full map for Suplex City features two additional locations that aren't listed, but look big enough to be featured as two additional locations in both the F5 Forest and the combined River of Nightmares and Lake of Limbs. So while the main roster reveal might be over, there's still a chance that we're not done with Suplex City, as we could potentially see these areas shown in the coming weeks to reveal DLC in the same way. Return to the original locations posted from Suplex City, and Mr. Creepy Boss has pointed out that you may have noticed a set of hidden red eyes included in each of the locations, but as of yet, there's been nothing revealed as to the meaning of them. Therefore, I want to know what you make of them. Is there a meaning behind them, or is it simply for sure? Let me know what you think in the comments. Also, while speaking of the previous roster reveal clues, you may have noticed additional clues that could be related to superstars that weren't announced, as we've seen Go written on the wall that could relate to Rhino, we've also seen Leila spell out in the Larry Lion sign, and various other clues that didn't lead to anything in the reveal. Therefore, maybe we're not quite done with these locations, as 2K could update the website to feature additional clues for this year's DLC, meaning we still may see the likes of Rhino and Leila included in this year's DLC packs. So guys, that brings us to the end of today's video, as it's just a quick one, but let me know what you think of today's news in the comments and if you think we're done with the Suplex City census images or whether they still have more to be revealed. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, stay tuned for more, subscribe if you haven't already and most importantly, have an awesome day. I'll catch you later.